Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. Who do you believe you have the most conversations with in your life, let alone the most productive ones? It's you, your own self. Some of you might agree with this and some of you may still be having these conversations and just not know it at all. Why? Because you may not have recognized this voice in your head or believe that the voice in your head and you are one and the same. Let me tell you, that's just not the case. You're not the voice in your head and vice versa. Some of you may even see that voice in your head as your subconscious and that's okay. You could say that the voice inside is policing you, your thoughts, actions, and decisions. There are times when you want to quieten it down, but it could still be talking. It's reflecting on your past, present, and strategizing for your future. Many a time, you're debating with yourself through these experiences. Does that mean that this inner voice is guiding you on the path you need to be on? Not necessarily. There could be times when it's actually taking you off your chosen path. And while this voice can be right most of the time, there are times when it's not. You would even believe that this voice either knows everything or perhaps you know everything and it doesn't. However, when you and the voice in your head are not on the same page, which may be most of the time, and gets you in an argument, it disturbs you both. This is when the voice in your heart can come to the rescue. The voice in your heart is the voice of your soul, your spirit, and it's possible that you would have mistaken the voice in your head to be it. But the voice in your head and heart are distinct. The voice of your soul, your spirit, works to help you find peace and stillness. It helps you to re-energize yourself. It's always listening, but rarely does it talk. It just communicates through feelings inside of you and how you heal by looking into whether you're at home with your own persona or not. While the voice in your head is construed to be a way to distill your thoughts by many, the way you perceive something and the way your inner voice does the same can be distinctly different. The birth of much confusion is just from this aspect alone. However, With a bit of care, this chasm of understanding can actually help you sift through your own perceptions and true thoughts very carefully and see what you seek to from an outsider's perspective. I'd say this is about going deeper to find a true perspective, not just something that you want to agree with. There's also the question about the purpose of the inner voice. Is it supposed to play the role of a motivator? or serve as a self-assessment tool? The answer lies in how you want it to serve you. It's in your control to make it work for you, and that is a subtle art. You have no choice but to master it, else it can create unfathomable chaos for you. Our minds tend to wander a lot, and seldom has someone gained even an iota of control to truly manage thoughts. How many times have you caught yourself wafting in your cloud of thoughts before you gained control of yourself? In our world, the motivation for this inner dialogue is as varied as the people there are. For some, it's self-regulation. For others, it's about problem-solving or reasoning. And for some others, it's about self-motivation. Even when in sleep, That dialogue may continue through an active mind in the form of dreams. There's a way to train your subconscious to ensure it works for you, to enable the process of inner voices working in alignment with your needs. One approach is to control your external thoughts in order to allow and disallow that inner voice when you need to. Engage in an activity to keep away the inner voice or channel it as you need to. However, Except for control to an extent, there's not a much deeper use of such actions. 
Meditation is another practice that can help you regulate and control your inner voice management. It allows for a sense of calm coming over you and then through stillness manage your inner dialogue for the outcomes you seek. I believe you should do what works best for you, but ensure that your external identity, the identity of the voice in your head and that in your heart are distinct, yet interconnected so they all work to your benefit. Let me ask you again, what is your inner voice saying today? I hope you liked that episode and are enjoying all the episodes in Plan B Success Podcast. I'd encourage you to go subscribe on your favorite platform, whether it's any listening platform or YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts. Make sure you subscribe so that you enjoy this content and extract from it what serves you best, what benefits you in your own life, personal, professional, business, whatever it might be. Plan B. Live is the website where you can go in order to find any episode that you would like to listen to. Three times a week, we release episodes, the first being an inspiring interview with someone who's done it, been there, done that, and can inspire you to go after what you want to achieve. Every Monday, that's the episode that gets released. And then, on Wednesdays and Fridays, we pick a topic and we talk about it in order to benefit you in your personal and professional life. At the same time, if you're someone who's interested in learning more about these concepts, if you're someone who's interested in podcasting as well, go check out planbsuccessschool.thinkific.com. That's where all the online courses are. You can learn and benefit from them there as well. There's a bunch of free courses. There's a bunch of paid courses. Start with the free ones. Get to learn what you aspire to learn. And if you want to delve deeper, then you can sign up for the other ones. Thank you very much.